know who you are? I know who I am. I don't have to lie and connect myself to how, something. How do you, Bible. So who are you according to the Bible is what I'm asking you. Why does it have to be according to the Bible? Because there's only 18 nations according to this Bible. And that, I don't believe that's true. So you don't believe in the Bible? I don't I don't know. I don't believe I believe in some things in the Bible. What do you mean? You I don't can't believe in some things. It's either you believe yeah. it or you don't. No, that's not true. You I can't believe you can't bro. God said he don't he don't want no nobody that's lukewarm. You either got your one foot in and one foot out. That's that's again now you're using the Bible to prove the Bible. That's called circular thinking. No, that's not that's circular thinking. That's what the scriptures say. You can't that's you can't tell me that that's what I'm thinking. They're that's using what God Bible. Said. You're using the Bible to prove the Bible or to say that the Bible says this, so therefore the Bible's true, and you must believe in the Bible because the Bible says you got to believe in the Bible. So is you telling that's me right. that the Bible is a lie then? There's things that are true in the Bible. There's a so lot that's of a lie, in other words. There's some good things and things that are true. I didn't ask you that, bro. You I'm have, asking you. Have, that there point of your one foot in and one foot out things, is a lie. There are things that are unproven in the Bible. I don't believe that the father's seed and all of that because now all of a sudden the father's seed means something to you. But when I was telling you that Moab and Ammon both came from the same father and Jacob and Esau both came from the same father, now the father's seed doctrine goes out the window. How? I've been doing this for years. How does it go out the window? Because you were you were saying that earlier, you were saying that it doesn't matter. We all have the same blood, but yet you're no, no, no. What I'm saying is that we're. I didn't say that, bro. I said we're all blood related, right? All the men were related. How is that not blood related, bro? But so Edomites are going to be killed, though, right? Like according to Obadiah, all of them are going to be white. Oh no, you told me you the one brought it up. So that's what that's what the Bible says. Edomites oh, are going to. So if that's what the Bible said, then that's what it is. And and isn't the father seed like if you're of the same father seed, doesn't that make you the same people? So did how God are, love Esau? So how so how are Jacob did and God Jacob? love Esau? Uh, no, no, I know he didn't, but I'm telling okay. you. And he gonna kill him, right? It's okay. Well, uh, what about Moab and Ammon then? He gonna kill them too. But but aren't they aren't they the same? Aren't they different? They're not they're, but they're not of the chosen seed. But aren't they different nations? They're different nations, but they come from Lot, which is the nephew of, of Abraham. So they're different nations, but yet they have the same father. But you tell me that you have to be of the father's seed to be of a certain nation. But Moab and Ammon come from the same father. Why are they? Two Ishmael is from, the, is from Abraham, but that's he's not why, a chosen bloodline. That's why I'm asking you. Don't you but believe you're trying that? to make it look like all nations could be chosen. But no, I'm not saying that. Stop trying to change my argument. What you're saying? What are you saying? Aren't you saying that if you see you try to not understand it? No, I'm not. I don't get what you're saying. If you're from the same father's seed, does that make you the same people? Isn't that what you said? Bro, I said we're all blood related. How am I? How are you a Judite? Are you a Judite? Of course. Listen. Okay, hold on, hold on, man, hold on. You have brothers and sisters. Yeah. Are they Judites too? Yeah. Okay. So aren't Jacob and Esau brothers? Why are they not both the same nation? Because God only chose one bloodline. I mean, I don't know how, how simple, I, how much but, more but, simple but, I can but, make but it. With Moab and Ammon, that happened too, and neither one of them are 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 the same are chosen. How come exactly. they're not? How come they're not the same people? Because they're not chosen people neither. That's not what I'm asking you about a chosen people. I'm asking you about you, who you are genetically. Why are you not understanding? Genetically, that? look, a genetically, Lot slept. His two daughters had sex with him, got him drunk, and had sex with him. That was an abomination. No, rape I people. know, but they had the same father. They got Down syndrome, bro. That's why they look with that Chinese look on their face. That's not true. That's not what that Down, is true. That's not what Down syndrome is, bro. You know what? Go look at a Down syndrome patient and then get back to me on that. But so, at the end of the don't, day, don't, don't white those people, people don't white, don't white people. Hold on, hold on, don't white people interbreed all the time in the trailer parks? White people do they come out looking Asian? They, some of them do. They got Down syndrome white no, people. That's not what Down. Syndrome and you got Down syndrome is. black people. I don't know what that, you mean. Down syndrome doesn't come from incest. Where does it come from? It doesn't come from incest, which is what you're saying, right? Where does it come from? I just asked you. You're, say you're saying it comes from incest, right? Bro, that's exactly what happened. All the praises and the honor goes to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Bahashim, Recha Ha Kodash.
and double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of Great Millstone. Salute and honors to your other brethren. All you fellow believers and supporters of the ministry, that includes you sisters as well. Shalom to the hopeful elect. Shalom to the elect. So anyway, I ran across this video on San Miguel TV, right? I've had some comment board battles with him years, years ago. He used to be, I believe he used to be an Israelite. I don't know what group, maybe IUIC, I can't remember. But, you know, weirdos, they get on these videos and they always try to challenge Israelites and they get swept. But the followers, this is the thing where you call, you know, the uh, the followers will always, they call cognitive dissonance, uh, the followers will always believe, no matter what, that they're in the winning side of the, the um, coin. Now, they're set up to do their job. These type of people are set up to do their job. They're fighting a losing battle because if someone does follow them, it's because the Lord sent them to follow it. But there is no way we'll see a guy come up to us like this while we're out teaching and we would deal with that situation. And maybe if we did, they know it would be an embarrassment, right? So anyway, I want to touch on that in Genesis. Right? He said, basically what he's saying, if, if uh, um, Ammon, Moab came from Lot, if um, uh, Esau came from Jacob, wouldn't that still be the lineage? This is what he said. So we could clearly see that this guy has no faith in the heavenly father no belief in the bible right he, he you heard him say i only believe some things so really what he wants to do is discredit um he's wants he wants to discredit his opponent um by trashing the bible basically or it's just saying that you know hey i don't believe in the bible all of it so he will throw out you know his whole belief in the scriptures or whatever he believed just to come in and win the argument right to win the strong man's competition so to speak uh against the other against an israelite so we can see that these guys hate the israelites more than they love the truth or more than they, than they even believe in the bible let's go to genesis 17 verse 17 right and that's all the brother i don't know who it was you know, when it comes to these things, you got to pull the scripture. And the scripture just does it all. I ain't no reason I'm going to go back and forth with a guy like that. Just read the scripture. Genesis uh, 17 to 17. Then Abraham fell upon his face and laughed and said in his heart, Shall a child be born unto him that is a hundred years old? And shall Sarah that is ninety years old? And Abraham said unto God, Right, let's read the verbatim, Yahweh. Oh, that Ishmael might live before thee. And God said, Sarah thy wife shall bear thee a son indeed, and thou shalt call his name Isaac. So we know Abraham had children, but we're talking here about Isaac and Ishmael. So, yes, Ishmael come from Abraham, and so does Isaac. Well, let's see what the scriptures say. And I will establish my covenant with uh, him. Let's read that again. And God said, Sarah, thy wife shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name Isaac. And I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting salvation, with an everlasting covenant. And with his seed, his seed after him. So this man, San Miguel, he can't see. Let's go to Genesis 25. Right? Let's get that just to make the point. Genesis 25 and 23. And the Lord said unto her, talking about Rebekah. Now we're talking about after Isaac, who took Rebekah, by the way. Right? And it says, And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. So yeah, you can say, Jacob and Esau has a lineage, but it's the spirit, as, as uh, John 6 and 63 said, it's the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profiteth nothing. 
you have two different spirits of people that are in that womb. Two nations of people. Let's see what it says. Um, and two nations in the womb and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And one, the one people shall be stronger than the other people and the elder shall serve the younger. So what this guy San Miguel is trying to do, he wants to save everybody. That's what it's all about. That's what these, these, uh, uh, K O O N's, that's what they do. That's what it's all about with these guys. They, especially when they drop out of the truth, what they do, they get so irate, so angry at what they used to believe, and it hurts them so bad that they would do anything and say anything just to twist the scripture and turn totally against what, what they were once taught, as the scriptures say. They were once taught that dog returned to their vomit again. So what it boils down to is he has hatred for himself. Meanwhile, all the atrocities that was committed through this man, Edom, and all the things that's happened, and the den that he stole, and all these things that happened to us, he wants, he's willing to ignore it and forgive it all in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah, you know, that's what Jesus Christ has done. He's destroyed you through peace, as, as Daniel 8 and 25 says. Through his policies, he's destroyed you through peace. That whole Christian denomination, what that was about, that white supremacist Christianity, what that was all about is suppressing our people and telling them God loves everybody. Even though you've been through what you've been through, look at you, you've overcame. But by now, you done had your whole heritage stripped you follow in Christmas and Easter, right? You don't follow the holy days. You follow holidays after the holly branch, right? You follow everything contrary to what you knew. But you would say it's still all peaceful because you got a couple of jobs and some careers. But your whole heritage was taken. Your whole identity was taken. And this is all right with these guys. And that's what they want to do. Don't worry about it. Jesus is going to come and save the day. <laughs> yeah, right. So let's go to Romans. Let me go to Proverbs real quick on, on this guy. Proverbs 30 and 5. He said he don't believe everything. Proverbs 30 and 5. Every word of God is pure. He is the shield unto him that put their trust in him. So I don't know why there's even a debate with this guy, San Miguel, with another Hebrew Israelite. He doesn't even believe in the whole Bible. And really, he probably thought he did, but he got tripped up when he when the Israelite told him about the nations and you don't believe in the Bible. Well, I believe in some of it. I don't believe in all of it. What are you debating for? And who would debate a guy like that? That debate should have ended right then and there. That should have ended right then and there. This man don't believe in the Bible. What the hell am I here debating him for? That's my opinion. You know, why debate this guy? Proverbs 30 and 12. There are those who are clean in their own eyes, but are not washed of their filth. Yahweh was quoting that, the moat in your own eyes. Right? In his own eyes, he believes this, this San Miguel character. But they're not washed from their filth, man. That's just what it is. Uh, let's go to Romans. Romans 9 and let's go to let's see 9 no let's go to 6 let's go to 7 neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all the children right so we see that Ishmael was the seed of Abraham but was he the children of the promise let me go up. Not as though the word of God has taken an effect, for they are not all Israel, which are of Israel, neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all the children, right? Just because you're the seed of Abraham don't mean you're the children of the Most High. But in Isaac, this is why it says, but in Isaac shall thy seed be called. But the other Christians will say, well, this is 
basically just talking about all the Israelites. Remember, they're all Hebrews. But then you have Hebrews and then you have Hebrew Israelites. This is why it says, but in Isaac shall thy seed be called. That is that which are the children of the flesh. They which are the children of the flesh. These are not the children of God. So you got different men. The children of, the children of God. You know, the sons of the most high, the sons of the wicked. Right? The son of man. Well, you had the sons of the most high. Right? And then you have the sons of the wicked. Right? And then you have the sons of, of Satan. Okay? And it goes on to say, <clears throat> um, At this time will I come, and Sarah shall have a son. And not only this, but when Rebekah also had conceived by one, even by our father Isaac. For the children being not born, neither having done any good or evil, right, in that lifetime, no, that the purpose of God according to the election might stand, not of works, but of him that calleth. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. And this is all he had to read. It's a real cut and dry session, especially with that. And then when they start, he I think he was going into um, that the king shall be brought here. You know, the description Deuteronomy, ye, ye and thy king shall be brought here and die, whatever. They don't understand that. And I would go to Matthew 13 on that. Why would I explain that to you? That's not for you. Right? They don't understand reincarnation. They don't understand this Bible. Because then now you got to go on all other different levels to try to explain to these people. You know, I have a lot of them ask me to say, do a debate, do a debate. Now, what will come out of the debate? If 50 people go in for San Miguel and 50 people go in for me or, or any member of Great Millstone, you know what's going to happen at the end of the debate? You might get a couple because we we teach 100% true that might scratch their head and say, well, GMS, they made some great points. But then their, their pride will not allow them to say that they were wrong. That's what happened when you get caught up in a cult like that straightway ministry. Those people, there, some people will stick with him till the end. Because they know they've been duped. And Sam Miguel felt he was duped. So now he feels like he's got to dupe everybody else. The Lord just wasn't with him. He doesn't know the Bible. Nor does he care to know. His whole agenda is just to come at the Hebrew Israelites and make some monetary off. I'm not, I'm not sure, but to show himself as being smarter. But no matter what happens, there's more Israelite groups going up. There's more camps popping up. There's more and more waking up. You cannot defeat the Lord, man. If the Lord didn't want these camps going out, if the Lord didn't want us waking up to the truth, it would never happen. This is why these phonies that sit up on these panels and think they know something gets confounded and this Israelite confounded him, right? Chopped him up through the spirit. He was chopped suey. <laughs> That's all I have on that. Shalom.